G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden on YouTube. How you going today? And welcome to another exciting video here full of good education. Now today it's about fungi. And I got a message from a subscriber recently saying, Marty, I found some fungi in the garden. Should I pick it out and throw it in the worm farm? Things like that. Well, I would say at the moment, no, don't do that because that's really like it. We don't know when it's sort of like in spores and it's about ready to set it out and put it through the garden and into the ground and things like that. So just leave it be, let it do its own thing in the garden if you have it there. It's great, it means your soil's alive and fungi actually helps plants share sugars and it also passes on sugars from parents' plants to baby plants and has a lot of things that we're still learning about fungi. Now it's a part of the soil web and it's obviously very needed. And when we find it in our worm farms, once our worm farms start to age a bit, we've got a, bit, a little bit of excess nitrogen in there maybe, they start popping up. And that's a good sign. We really don't want to start digging that fungi through. We want to let it settle, do what it needs to do, and then later on, once you see it sort of dissipate and disappear, yeah, dig it through a little bit, turn over your worm farm, let a bit of air into it, stuff like that. But it's a great thing. Fungi, I absolutely just love it. And I do actually breed it in my worm farms. Yep, believe it or not, I do. And I teach that in the Worm Wranglers members area, in the intermediate area. It's really, really cool. And if you're interested in taking your worm farming up to another level and producing a fungal-dominated worm casting, so every time you add that worm castings to the pot, the container, the ground, that fungi is in there which is absolutely, lutely, lutely unreal. Now, if you know the other names for fungi, please leave it down below in the comments box down below. I'd love to hear what you got to say because there is another name for it. And yeah, I want people to go down there and have a look. Now, if you've got fungi in your worm farm, you've seen it there before, you want to create a dominated fungal worm farm, then yeah, check out the link in the description for the intermediate area in the worm farm. Yeah, worm farming for intermediates is coming up next week into the course. And if you're watching this a little bit later, then it's already there. Have a great day. Happy worm farming. We'll see you in the next video slash vlog real soon. Bye for now.